Okay, so in this video we're going to look at slew rate. Um, so distortion occurs where an, amp where an amplifier saturates, uh, which means the output can't go any more. So if we've got an audio signal, that re would result in in clipping. Now we can also get uh, slew rate. Uh, sorry, get distortion due to slew rate. And slew rate is how rapidly does the output change in response to the input. So how rapidly does the output change in response to the input. Uh, an example would be is we're supposed to get some sort of square wave output from our from our amplifier. And what we get is instead of being a nice square wave, then we get a sloping signal. So we might get something like this. So this is what we should have got out, a nice little square wave, but in actual fact what we got is something like this. So what we got then is this actual output, so instead of going straight up, our, our output can't respond quick enough, so we get um, this line here. So if we wanted to, then we could then work out what our slew rate is. So slew rate equals the change in output over the change in time. So actually with the gradient of the line. So for this one here, our change in output then is going to be 10 volts, 10 volts, and its slew response is happening over from four to eight microseconds, so over four microseconds. Okay, so we've got a slew rate of 2.5 volts per microsecond. Now, slew rate is also equal to uh, 2 pi multiplied by the frequency multiplied by the, the peak voltage. So what we can do is we can use this formula here in particular by rearranging it because if we know what the slew rate is um, and we know what the peak input volt, the peak voltage that we're going to get out, sorry, peak output voltage that we're going to get out, then we can work out the maximum frequency we can get um, for a... a distortion free output okay now here lies just a, a, a slight um, issue in numbers so our slew rate uh, and frequency so frequency here is frequency uh, lots of slight di uh, different ways of explaining it, but oscillations uh, per second oscillations per second okay now we've just wrote we use this last one in our example, we've just wrote it in microseconds. So what we have to do is, uh, when we use this formula here like so, we have to convert uh, slew rates into seconds in the first place, uh, which is easy enough. So it was in microseconds, so microseconds is minus six, so therefore we can then just multiply this part uh, by, uh, by times 10 to the six, so uh, 2.5, uh, megavolts uh, per second okay quite incomprehensible um, so that's why a lot of the time we do refer to it like that but actually is using the formula then we need it in this form so just writing it out all, all out like that before I rearrange it so I make that uh, 39.78 kilohertz so that would be our maximum input signal frequency that we could put in Make sure that we got a distortion free output okay so if we were talking about an audio signal uh, we would be well above the audio frequency so um certainly this op amp would be suitable for that purpose